Everybody, it is dark in here. I am turning off the lights because I am getting out of here. It is time for me to leave for work today. Cool thing is, is that I'm actually going to be taking you guys with me today. I am not stopping at work first. I'm actually doing something I have never done before, and today I am going to a Cars and Coffee. I'm very, very excited. Yesterday at work, I met a Lamborghini owner. We just got to talking for a while. We talked about 15, 20 minutes, and uh, he explained Cars and Coffee. He explained that there was one in the University Town Center area, um, which is coincidentally where I work. I'm up bright and early, and I'm going to go to Cars and Coffee. And when I say I'm up bright and early, I actually woke up at 2.30 today for I don't even know why and I have not gone to sleep so instead I edited some video but I figured as the freedom fighting American uh, that I am if I'm gonna go to cars and coffee I'm gonna have the best coffee there is black rifle coffee so I'm gonna have to stop at the store refill on some BRCC and we are stopping at cars and coffee <laughs> All right, so this is definitely really exciting. Um, like I stated before, I've never done this before. I've never been to a Cars and Coffee. I've, I've been to a car shows before, I just I've never been to a Cars and Coffee, and, and I've always wanted to go. You know, a lot of the influencers um, that influence me um, go to Cars and Coffee, um, and I, I, I'm just really excited for this. So I think it's going to be a really cool opportunity. I'm glad I have the opportunity to bring you with. What's going on, everybody? So we are officially here at Cars and Coffee, which actually starts in two minutes and there's easily already about 300 plus cars here and uh, what a turnout this is absolutely really cool um, modern older I mean we've got Supras um, I mean just for instance I've got this old-school Corvette here uh, next to me um, C3 so there is a variety of cars here um, Porsches Raris Lambos um, just the whole nine and um, Right now, all these cars are kind of crowding in right now, which is really, really cool. Um, I've, I've never done anything like uh, like this before. I've been to shows. I mean, growing up, I, I've done this my entire life. Uh, my father used to collect cars, so constantly we would be out and doing things like this, but um, never like this. I don't know, this is um, modern. Things I used to do with my dad, not trying to call my dad old. Dad, if you're watching this, you know I love you. Um, but uh, that was more the older crowd. This is a uh, younger generation of car show, uh, and I, I've noticed that immediately. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that people are still keeping that alive because, you know, growing up, I, I grew up respecting, you know, vehicles and classics and uh, appreciating the automotive industry, and I'm still doing it. Um, I work in the automotive industry, and I don't know, I'm just enjoying really keeping this alive. But let's uh, get some rollers of some of these cars that are coming in. I'll hit you guys off with a good little mop. Wow, this sun is freaking wild today. I'll get you guys uh, a good little montage going. So, uh, editor, you know who you are, that would be me. Um, let's get some slow mos going. Clap the room, I'm coming through, they wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on mamas. Hey, they trying to block all my blessings. They thought I lost a snapping. I bet on me and my team. ISO is what I'm rapping. Put on for the whole city. Yeah, I got them rocking with me. I bet on me and my team. ISO is 
so it's what I'm rapping. Sending emojis, I'm blowing a pack of that OG. Don't be acting like you know me, and if you did, that's the old me. When the time, rock a cold fleece, pocket fat, that's obese. Only talking money if it's increased. She give me brain, girl, no teeth. I touch down, bust down. She bust it open for a real day. Stay time up, trying to build it up, trying to count it up. Hell figures, don't be chilling with no love. And if I do, I be real with them. Chase a dream, that's a meal ticket. ISO gang, yeah, they still with us. I put it in motion, they got me steady. Thoughts on my mind, it's wearing heavy. Watch I shine, tell them I'm ready. I'm hitting my stride, let's get to the Fetty. I was just sitting back watching them fold. Alright, so I hope you guys liked uh, <laughs> that little uh, slow mo that I had going on for you guys. A lot of really awesome cars here today. I, I'm, I'm so much enjoying this. I actually wish I brought my father here uh, to see this. So, Dad, next time you were coming with me. Um, but I actually almost pulled the plug the other uh, the other day on a '67 Mustang. Uh, it was a uh, Boss 302. Uh, the guy was only asking twenty-seven thousand dollars for it, which I was mildly interested in. Unfortunately, it just needed a little more work than I intended on doing. So, with all the projects that we currently have going on, I just felt that it was a little bit uh, unnecessary of a buy that I don't need at the moment. Um, I'm looking for something a little more turnkey so that I can take out and do things like this. But right now we're working on uh, the 94 F-150 um, and we may or may not have purchased uh, that Kia Sportage uh, and we're gonna turn that into a mud car. So, like I said, may or may not. Uh, I'd have just spoiled some things for you, but may or may not, wholly saturated by sun. But, we got some projects coming. Uh, we're definitely gonna have some cars we can put in here, as well as the Subaru. If you've been following, you already know what's going on with that. We are going to be turning that uh, into a mud monster as well. So, stay tuned for that, because that project's gonna be starting um, here in the next couple months, we've allotted about five grand to put down on that, and uh, we're gonna get started uh, with that here shortly. So, let me know what you think. I'm going to saturate myself with sun. Of all the cars that are here today, um, honestly, I realistically came here in hopes of seeing one car, uh, and that was a Lotus Six Siege. And lucky me, we got one here today. Realistically, the Exige is a short-term goal on my introduction to, I would say, my first uh, supercar, um, if you want to call it a supercar, um, I do. Um, I, I think the Exige is just absolutely beautiful um, in every single way. Uh, I, I think it holds its own personality that's a lo little bit different from everyone. It is a lot cheaper of a vehicle. But I, I think Lotus just nailed it um, first go with the Exige. Um, so let's roll a little montage of the Exige right now. Lately it's looking like everything perfect. Out the mud with it, I put the work in. You can find me where that turf is. Pin precision like a surgeon. Bad ones used to curb me. Showing up to the show when the curse split. She know that I'm worth it. I'm finna go up, I'm aerial. I got the hit stash, got a bracelet for impact. Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack. Quick stack. Think fast and I talk real. I give a fuck about how We've been here for about 35 minutes now. Um, covered a lot of ground already, which has been really awesome. Um, don't have too much more time here uh, before I have to get ready to go to work. But I'm gonna see if I can bump into my friend Mark. Uh, hopefully uh, he is here with his Lamborghini. Uh, we'll get a quick shot of that. If not, no biggie, I'll see him again. I found my first fan. She doesn't even know who I am. This is great. Yep. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. My name's Ashley. Hi Ashley, what's your name? Randy. Randy, nice to meet you guys. All right, everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the car content today. This is not something that I normally do, um, but maybe it could be something that I start. Um, appreciate you guys for watching yet another episode of Off The Clock TV. Um, check out all of our social media because of course, as always, it is linked in the description below. Uh-oh, that's no bueno. But again, appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching yet another episode and I'm clocking out. Thank you.